Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Now let's look at this MCQ. It says X-ray of knee joint is given below. What is the most likely diagnosis? The options are aneurysmal bone cyst, osteosarcoma, chondrosarcoma and giant cell tumor. And there is an image here which looks like an X-ray. Now you have nothing to go by here other than the image itself. So your answer will be based on the findings of this image that is the X-ray. So this is a pure spotter kind of a question where you have no clinical history, no background, you have no idea or no clue given. Just a plain X-ray and you have to come to the answer. So let's first try to study this X-ray. Now this is the same X-ray enlarged. I want you to identify the various parts of the bone and the anatomy that is being shown in this X-ray. You have your distal end of the femur here and this is your proximal end of the tibia and this is supposed to be your fibula. Now there's supposed to be a lesion here on the distal end of the femur which I will mark like this. And where exactly is this lesion? Now if you look at the anatomical aspect of this bone, you will notice that this part is the epiphysis of the bone, right? And then you have your metaphysis here and this is your diaphysis. So there is a lesion here which is in the epiphysis as well as in the metaphysis. Now how would you describe this lesion? Is it dense or lucent? You would describe it as a lucent lesion because the density of this lesion is less compared to the density of the normal bone around it. So these are essentially the only hints we have available in the x-ray where there is a lesion in the distal end of the femur and the lesion is lucent and it is an epiphyseal lesion encroaching into the metaphysis. What else? Do we have any other hint? Yes, we have the growth plate which is not visible on the x-ray suggesting that this is a mature skeleton. Normally the physial plate or the growth plate is something that would be visible right about here. But it is fused suggesting that this is a mature skeleton. So a lesion of the distal femur from the epiphysis growing into the metaphysis loosened in nature in a mature skeleton. Alright, now let's try to look at this another image, another x-ray of the knee joint. Let's try to look at the key findings of this image. Similarly, again, this is your femur and this is your tibia. This is supposed to be your fibula and this is your knee joint. Now, what are the various parts of the bone here? This is the epiphysis, this is the metaphysis and this is the diaphysis and this is the knee joint. Again, here you have the epiphysis of the femur, uh, the tibia, the metaphysis and the diaphysis. Now, there is a lesion here again which is also lucent, but this time around, you can see that this lesion is metaphysial lesion. This is a lucent metaphysial lesion. And one very important thing is that the growth plates are open. So it is a young child or an immature skeleton. So here you have a metaphysial lucent lesion in an immature skeleton. And what is the other finding that you can look at this lucent lesion? You can see these loculations, these multi-loculated, multiple cyst-like lesion. Now let's try to look at this lesion. Again, this is your femur and this is supposed to be your tibia. This is the lateral image and you have a radio dense lesion because it is appearing more white compared to the normal bone, more dense. And what do you notice here? What is this? This is your classical Codman's triangle. And what about this? This is your sun ray or sunburst appearance. So you have a radio dense lesion with Codman's triangle and your classical sun ray and sunburst appearance. What else? Where is the lesion? Is it in the epiphysis, metaphysis or diaphysis? This is your epiphysis, this is your metaphysis and this is your diaphysis. So the lesion is metaphysial. So metaphysial lesion, radio dense, radio opaque, sun ray sunburst appearance and your Codman's triangle. Now let's look at this image. Again this is supposed to be your proximal femur, this is your epiphysis and this is your metaphysial region and this is your diaphysis. The growth plate is fused, mature skeleton and there is a lucent lesion in the metaphysis with stippled or punctate calcification and looks very aggressive. So lucent background or a hazy background with stippled or punctate calcification in the metaphysis of the mature skeleton and looks very aggressive. 
So the keywords are metaphyseal, mature skeleton, loosened background with calcifications. Now once you have seen these three images, I would want you to come back to the first image and try to come to a diagnosis. What do you think this is? This is a lesion in the metaphysis of an immature skeleton with lucencies and loculations, multi-loculated, multi-septate lesion. What do you think this is? This is your classical aneurysmal bone cyst. This is your aneurysmal bone cyst. It is a metaphyseal lesion. Epiphysis is absolutely normal. Multiloculated, multiseptate lesion, expansile, slightly more eccentric, immature skeleton. These are the keywords of your aneurysmal bone cyst. What about this second image? You see a radio dense, radio opaque lesion in the metaphysis. Codman's triangle, sunray, sunburst appearance. This is your classical osteosarcoma. What about this lesion? A lesion in the metaphysis for mature skeleton, loosened background with stippled or punctate calcification. This is your classical chondrosarcoma. Now with the knowledge of those three images, let's at least try to attempt this question. Now there is a lesion here in the epiphysis moving into the metaphysis, mature skeleton, which is loosened in background. So what can it not be? It can definitely not be your osteosarcoma, so osteosarcoma is ruled out. Can it be your chondrosarcoma? It cannot be chondrosarcoma because chondrosarcomas are metaphyseal and they are aggressive, loosened background with punctate or stippled calcifications. Can it be your aneurysmal bone cyst? It cannot be your aneurysmal bone cyst because aneurysmal bone cysts are your metaphyseal lesions, not epiphyseal lesions. And usually they occur when the growth plate is open. What are you left with? You are left with a giant cell tumor and that is what it is. Now most of you are getting confused between aneurysmal bone cyst and giant cell tumor. In order to clear that, let's practice a few more x-rays. Again look at these x-rays in front of you. This is x-ray number 1, this is x-ray number 2. In x-ray number 1, try to describe this lesion. There is a lesion in the proximal tibia. This is your epiphysis, metaphysis and this is your diaphysis. Epiphysis seems to be absolutely normal, diaphysis is normal, there is a lesion in the metaphysis and the growth plate is open. Describe the lesion, it is multiloculated, multiseptate, expansile lesion. What do you think it is? It is your aneurysmal bone cyst. So epiphysis is normal in aneurysmal bone cyst. Look at this image number 2, this is your epiphysis. This is your metaphysis, this is your diaphysis. Epiphysis is again normal, the growth plate is open, must be an immature skeleton. There is a lesion in the metaphysis which is multiloculated, multiseptate, expansile and eccentric. What do you think it is? Again, this is your aneurysmal bone cyst. This is of the proximal tibia. Both of them are aneurysmal bone cyst because they are metaphysial and epiphysis is normal and the growth plate is usually open. Now what about this image in front of you? This is your femur, this is your tibia, this is the articular surface, so this must be the epiphysis, and this is your metaphysis. So this is a lesion started just under the articular surface, means an epiphysial lesion moved into the metaphysis. It is also expansile, it is also multiloculated and multiseptic. Can it be aneurysmal bone cyst? It cannot be because here epiphysis is involved. Epiphysis is involved and the lesion is moving to the metaphysis. So there are only two classical lesions that occur in the epiphysis. One is your chondroblastoma and the other is your giant cell tumor or osteoclastoma. Chondroblastoma usually occurs in children. Epiphysial lesion occurring in children where the growth plate is open. Whereas giant cell tumor is an epiphysial lesion which encroaches into metaphysis but occurs after the growth plate fusion means in mature skeleton immature skeleton this is usually giant cell tumor usually occurs in the mature skeleton whereas chondroblastoma occurs in immature skeleton so what do you think this lesion is lesion in the epiphysis growth plate fused mature skeleton lesion moving from the epiphysis into the metaphysis although appears exactly like aneurysmal bone cyst this is your giant cell tumor so soap bubble appearance although usually used to describe giant cell tumor can be seen in aneurysmal bone cyst also because the appearance is the same multiloculated multiseptate so based on what we have learned the answer again is proved to be your giant cell tumor it cannot be osteosarcoma because osteosarcomas are dense and mostly metaphyseal it cannot be aneurysmal bone cyst because they are metaphyseal 
it cannot be chondrosarcoma because that is also metaphyseal it has to be a giant cell tumor based on the available options now if you have stuck with me for so long to understand these intricate details of the lesions occurring in the distal parts of the long bones i have one extra point for you there is one variant of chondrosarcoma known as clear cell chondrosarcoma which occurs in the epiphysis it's very rare and it is usually not very aggressive and this is it this is a chondrosarcoma where the classical presentation of chondrosarcoma is a lucent background with stippled or punctate calcifications usually it is in the metaphysis but if it occurs in the epiphysis it is your clear cell chondrosarcoma so again this is your epiphysis this is your metaphysis and this is your diaphysis so this is a lesion in the epiphysis of the bone and you can see lucent background with stippled calcification this is your clear cell chondrosarcoma i hope i have cleared your confusion between aneurysmal bone cyst giant cell tumor lesions in the epiphysis metaphysis this is an extremely important mcq and you have to remember this concept in order to answer multiple questions in your exam